welcome to another episode of Mop 1 Tree Garage. We're going to uh, pull down the uh, tailgate and the hood and the doors and we're going to work on those one by one but I'm going to go yank this stuff down. All right now that we're done moving everything in this is uh, kind of what's going to be the setup for the next day or two as you can see got all these right here these doors are to the bronco to be named later bronco to be named later is right there and then we've got uh the two fenders and all of the body panels uh to the stormtrooper here and we've got our saw horses which by the way if you go to Home Depot, you're going to see these uh, Belknap Hill uh, saw horses, $21. If you uh, look around hard enough, you're going to find some that are broken apart because they're stapled normally and uh, these staples don't last, uh, so they start breaking apart in the store. 70% off if you find some that are broken up. So I got both of these saw horses for a total of $14. So we got our heater in and uh, it's a, it's a, it's toasty in here. Uh, I had it on a little bit this afternoon, but it's a nice day outside. We got 50 degrees in Colorado today, so uh, big snowstorm coming in. So now I don't have to stop in the middle of what I'm doing in order to get things done. So it's some exciting news about the paint booth too. Uh, I'll tell you about the paint booth uh, here in a little bit. But first, we are going to continue uh, our prep for paint. Um, for those of you who have not watched the previous series of me priming the vehicles, um, check that out in previous episodes. Uh, but now we are getting the primer sanded down, getting ready for paint. And most of these panels are brand new, so tailgate's brand new, many panels are brand new. Uh, some of them are, are old or original panels in good shape. So I've already done body work on most of this in a previous episode, so now this is what I'm going to consider either final primer uh, that all I'm doing is getting the orange peel down. So like right now, I, I sprayed this on so heavy, you can hear it. Um, it's it's uh, got a, a nice wall texture to it. And I want to knock that down without doing a lot to uh, thin the primer out. Uh, so I'm going to be using... A combination of sanding sponges so the sanding sponges these sanding sponges right here were dollar store specials 60 grit and 80 grit were the only grits they had I'm obviously not going to use the 60 or 80 on a final sand but what I did do is because they're kind of stiff but still pliable uh, sprayed the back side of them which is just sponge with some spray adhesive and then I put uh, one with 220 and one with 500 and I've also got a 320 in there as well and I'm going to be wet sanding these so um, dry sanding versus wet sanding as far as I'm concerned again I'm an amateur at this I have done a few cars that did a 66 Mustang uh, previous to this the 66 Mustang had uh, it was like all Bondo um, it was very thin Bondo but there were so many regularities in the body I had to dry sand that and had to prime it probably four times in order to get it straight um, but this one is different. This, this Bronco is, is in really good shape. So I think I'm just going to do uh, 320 and 500. And uh, I'm going to do it, hit it first with 320. Uh, I'm going to stay away from the lettering and the areas that are, have a lot of bends to them because even with 320, it's easy to burn through it even when it's wet. So I'm going to do the main body panels uh, that are curved uh, that have big open spaces in 320. I'm going to do all of the detail work with 500 and then I'm going to do everything in 500 and then I've also got my, I've also got my uh, block sander uh, and I'm going to put 320 on this as well and for the straight areas that are flat I'm actually going to block sand it to keep it nice and flat uh, but I'm going to do it real light and I'm going to do it all wet so that I can keep it, uh, uh, keep from burning through. Now on the grill. I already did the grill. The grill is an original piece and it burned through in several spots. Uh, not very big spots, just a, a, few, a little bit in the lettering there. Um, 
And then I had some repair done on this side right here where I did some spot putty, but you can see where that burned through to the metal. So this one will have to be sprayed in a light epoxy and then uh, another primer again and then another sanding. So I'm gonna try not to do that to any other body panels if I can help it. So I've got my, my I've got my water right here, got my sanding sponges for the curves, uh, and then I've got my straight sander, we're gonna go to work. But before we start, I've got my uh, navy blue, nice new, just designed sweatshirt uh, that won't work well with gray primer, so I'm gonna change that, change into something a little bit uh, more appropriate. And so when you're getting the details, make sure that you're adding plenty of water to the panel. And then this is our 500 grit. This uh, little spine here on the outside of the tailgate, uh, I didn't, I've got some, if you feel it, I've got some imperfections here from uh, globs of paint or globs of primer that have uh, attached themselves here. Uh, but I've sanded everything else down with 320 and then 500, but I left this spine so that it didn't burn through it. And I'm just going to do it with just 500. And I'm just going to start real slow with lots of water and take my time so that I don't burn through the, the uh, primer here. I can still feel that that uh, glob of the uh, epoxy point poking through. What I might do with that is take my take my 320 and barely touch it putting no pressure on this whatsoever turns out that's actually a nick so that I guess the tailgate must have dropped onto something and created a, a small little nick right there so I'm gonna have to use some spot putty on that when I get done here so I'm going to stop with that, but you can feel how smooth this is right here, missed a little bit, right there in the corner, compared to that. Big difference. So we're going to keep going. Nice and easy, not put a lot of pressure on there. All right, now that I'm done sanding this down, I'm going to give it a good wash which is clean water to get as much of the primer dust as I can off of it before we go and paint it, use my degreaser formula and, uh, and get it cleaned for paint. What are you doing? I'm sanding, I'm sanding this uh, thing. What does sanding mean? Sanding means I'm, I'm making it smooth. That makes sense. That was one panel. Uh, I've got many panels to go, obviously. Uh, smooth as a baby's butt, or at least as smooth as 500 grit will allow. Um, washing it down several times with uh, clean water, just to get as much primer off of it as possible. Uh, that way, when I go to clean it before the next prime, uh, I've got burn through one, two, three, Few, few places here, right around the Ford symbol, which is uh, happening a lot, and then uh, right around here. So I'll touch it up with some uh, epoxy uh, and some 2K. Uh, I'm gonna buy the little cans from Eastwood, uh, the same primer, uh, that way I can just do spot repairs, do a little bit of light uh, sanding on it, and uh, and it'll be good, the rest of the panel will be good for, for paint. So on to the next ones. Now, let's discuss paint these. So I was going to build a paint booth and I had the 2x4 structure kind of already uh, uh, lined out, got a cost on it, um, bought the plastic for it actually. Um, everything was set to go. But one of my subscribers mentioned, hey, you should look for a wedding tent. Um, they're pretty cheap and, and they work really well. So I, I did that and I found a wedding tent. Uh, surprisingly, wedding tents are cheap. Uh, I got this one for 60 three dollars for a 10 by 20 tent uh, which will fit pretty well into my first bay here the long bay um, and uh, it's got windows uh, all along the side of it so lots of light 
uh, natural light can come in. And um, $63 with shipping. That's crazy. I can't build. That was like a quarter of the cost of the actual boot that I was going to build out of plastic and timber. And then I can take it down and put it back up again whenever I want. And uh, I can do body work in it. And, you know, I can paint multiple cars in it. So uh, so thank you very much. And I'm sorry I forgot your name. Uh, but that was a great idea. And uh, so that's what we're going with. I ordered it today. It'll be in in about a week. That gives me a week to get the sanding done on the rest of the body panels. Uh, the next video is probably going to be laying out the structure for the tent and uh, and also how we're going to get the airflow in and out because I am using a heater uh, to, to keep the garage warm uh, to cure the paint correctly because in Colorado again we don't have consistent temperatures in the 60s until well well into May well probably past May at this point um, so I'm going to need in the evening some heat running in the garage um, so I'm going to need proper ventilation to make sure I don't uh, you know blow the whole thing sky high so got that mapped out we'll talk about that in the next video that's a wrap from my point three garage hey we're getting there change that change into something a little bit uh, more appropriate a little bit more appropriate so i'm going to switch that right now uh, i don't like that